the seaweed we're talking about is well, it's a group. It's a name, Sargassum. It's a group of algae, pelagic, holopelagic algae, and they're particular. Well, there are two species in particular: um, Sargassum nathans and Sargassum fluitans. These are the two species that predominate. Um, they accumulate on the uh, in our in coastal bays, and then our, they, it's washed ashore and accumulating mounds on the on the beach. A lot of our islands and in countries that um, are borders onto the Caribbean Sea where they have been experiencing the accumulation of this particular seaweed. This started and it's been tracked since 2011 uh, up until this present time but it's become perhaps more severe during this year, 2015. It's a significant issue, especially uh, for us as small island states, as countries as us, us ours, um, which depend on um, tourism um, and our tourism-related economies. If it accumulates, then it starts to die off, then there's a smell, there's an odor, and so, People who use the beach can be impacted in that regard. People who live in close proximity. And of course, if you are in a hotel where and it accumulates on a beach, then um, you might be exposed to that, that particular odor. There, there's an impact also on possible wildlife that um, habit, inhabits the, the beach. The impact to the fishermen who use the beach when it accumulates in certain areas, I mean, they. It affects the fishing gear, the fish nets, the fish, the boats themselves get entrained within the sargassum. It affects the intakes of the vessels. When it settles out, it smothers the reef as well. We ask that it be raked, um, that there's no use of heavy duty vehicles because heavy duty vehicles can cause more impact on the beach. When you remove the sargassum, noting that within the sargassum itself there are living organisms and so as it um, starts decaying, it will start um, having an odor. You have two options. You can stockpile in a designated area, let it dry, and in drying you constantly turn it so it dries faster. Or you can have the option you can bury it on the beach. Um, that is not a bad option if you can't find anywhere to actually take it and remove it. We also said that if you're removing it to identify a proper site to dispose of it because you don't want to place it somewhere and that odor affects your neighbor or another surrounding. So sometimes we take it to a registered dump or um, bury it in a hole. But what do we, what we ask though is where in, in you're examining the beach and you recognize that it's three feet or a meter above, we ask that you will contact the agency. Some funds have been made available to respond to um, cleanup activity. For now we have five million dollars. We have had a cleanup activity over in St. Mary that some funds have been made available to support that, that cleanup activity. We had some accumulation in the grill. So there was a cleanup there and it might be that we'd have to do some um, expenditure to assist in that cleanup effort. Mm -hmm.